Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Hypothesis Testing Part 6 Chi-Square Test of Association Contingency Tables Before watching this video, we recommend viewers to watch our previous videos on hypothesis testing. Part 1 is Introduction to Hypothesis Testing and One Sample Z-Test, the Chi-Square Distribution and the Chi-Square Test for One Variance. Links to these videos are provided in the description of this video. When should we use the chi-square test to compare groups? Consider the following examples. A company has four plants producing same model of refrigerator. The company wants to find out whether failures in the four plants are equal or different. HR department of a company receives a complaint that promotions in some departments are more compared to others and they would like to investigate whether this is likely to be there or not likely to be there. A researcher wants to compare exam performance of different regions to assess quality of education in these different regions. So let us see the null and alternate hypothesis in chi-square test. We want to find out whether proportion in different groups is equal or significantly different. The null hypothesis will be H0, all groups have the same proportion. The alternate hypothesis will be H1, some groups have different proportion and this would be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed on right tail. Remember, in this particular case, we will always look at the right tail value of the uh, chi-square distribution. The reason is that whenever the groups are different, the chi-square value tends to get larger and larger. Therefore, we need to only look at the right-tailed value of the chi-square distribution. You can calculate the chi-square statistic with this formula. Chi-square calculated value equals summation of observed values minus expected values bracket square upon expected values. O is the observed values and E represents expected values under null hypothesis. This chi-square calculated should be compared with critical value of chi-square distribution with R minus 1 into C minus 1 degrees of freedom, where R is the number of rows and C is the number of columns in the table, excluding the totals row and column. We have already explained about chi-square distribution in our previous video. Chi-square alpha denotes value such that the area to the right is equal to alpha. Let us consider an application example. A hospital has collected data of four surgeons performing similar operations on patients. It is shown in the table. So there are four surgeons and the first row shows the number of successful operations and the second row shows number of operations which were not successful. The question is, is there a significant difference between the success rates of the surgeons? Assume confidence level of 95%. So here the null hypothesis H0 will be all surgeons have equal success rate while as H1 one or more surgeons have different success rates. Let us now see how to solve this problem on Microsoft Excel. The observed data is shown in blue color. The first row shows number of successful operations by the four surgeons and the second row shows number of operations which were not successful. First we will take the row totals and the column totals. So the column totals can be taken just by clicking the sigma sign and copying that value. These are the column totals and similarly we can also take the row totals and I just copy this. Total number of uh, operations were 594 out of which 564 were successful. The null and alternate hypothesis is written here. Under null hypothesis 
all surgeons have equal success rate and if null hypothesis is true we can say that the best estimate of the average proportion successful would be 564 upon total operations 594 and i do that that is equal to 564 divided by 594 i can round it off to maybe three decimals and a uh, proportion of not successful operations would be 30 upon 594 remember this is under null hypothesis that is if null hypothesis is true and if all surgeons have got equal uh, success rates so this table shows the observed values now we calculate the expected values under null hypothesis this is quite simple for surgeon 1 the proportion of successful uh, operations like other surgeons it would be 0.949 and the total number of operations done by surgeon 1 is 187 So if I multiply 187 by 0.949, I would get expected number of successful operations by surgeon one. So I just write down equal to 187 star 0.949. So expected number of successful operation is 177.56, while as the observed are 180. Uh, sorry, 180. Now here, if I want to copy this formula, I would take dollar uh, five and dollar uh, g, so that I can copy the formula. So if I copy this, and if I copy this, I'll get all expected values. and i can take a total of that let us see whether the total matches that's just a double check so row totals also yeah they are matching so fine i think we are okay the these are the expected values remember these are calculated under null hypothesis i am just going to mark it with some other color which is probably let us say uh, putting some green color just to differentiate having done the calculations of the expected values of the successful operations now we have to use the chi square calculation formula and that is summation of observed value minus expected value bracket square divided by expected this term is to be calculated for all eight observed and expected values so i make a table of chi square values in the lower table so that's now easy it's equal to into bracket observed minus corresponding expected bracket square and divided by expected that is 177.5 so the first chi square observed value is 0.033 i can copy this value everywhere and i can round it off to maybe Three decimals or four decimals. Now I want a total of this. So total of chi square would be here. Of course, I don't need the column totals here, but that's easy. So I will also take a total like this and like this and then like this. So the total chi square value I mark seven point six five. Now what is this? This is calculated value of the chi square statistics which we wrote this, with this formula summation of o minus e bracket square upon e this is a calculated value how do i compare this with or what do i compare this with i must compare this with a chi square value of certain degrees of freedom now the degrees of freedom were seen as rho minus 1 into column minus 1 the number of columns is four surgeons therefore four the number of rows is two because successful and not successful we cannot include the totals row remember so we put two rows here so the degrees of freedom would be 4 minus 1 star 
कॉलम्स माइनस वन कॉलम्स माइनस वन सो दैट्स ऑब्वियसली थ्री अल्फा रिस्क इज गिवन एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाउ आई यूज द एक्सेल फॉर्मूला फॉर काय स्क्वेर क्रिटिकल वैल्यू एंड विच इज इक्वल टू सी एच आई आई एन वी डॉट आर टी रिमेंबर सिंस दिस काय स्क्वेर वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू इन्फ्लेट वेन द डिफरेंसेस आर लार्ज we always look at the right tail value of the chi square distribution so uh, the probability is alpha risk 0.05 degrees of freedom is 3 this is your critical value of the chi square which is 7.8 at 5% alpha risk now here the calculated value is 7.65 while as critical value is 7.8 so we cannot reject null hypothesis because the calculated value is smaller than the uh, smaller than the critical value now i can also calculate the p value so i'll just write p value now how do we calculate the p value i will use another excel function that is chi square distribution right tail and this is at the calculated chi square value 7.65 comma degrees of freedom again has to be 3 so this p value is 0.054 so if we want to reject null hypothesis it will we will be able to reject this at confidence level so confidence level is given by 1 minus the p value so 94.6 so our confidence level falls just short of this value i'll just mark this so it is 94.6% uh, confidence level at which we can reject it we can see this situation graphically on an applet which is published by university of iowa so i am using that applet where i put degrees of freedom as 3 first i put the calculated value of chi square which is 7.658 658 and x is greater than x so it will show you the right side area so it shows that the right side area is 0.05363 and that is actually the p value now i can also see what happens if the x is actually at 5% alpha risk that is 7.815 you can visually see 7.815 and it shows 0.0499 so almost 0.05 area below that it shows the parameters of this chi square distribution you can also use our template for hypothesis testing and you can download the same from our website www.world-class-quality.com or you can write to us on email id iokr@world-class-quality.com in this template you just need to provide input in the blue squares so first i provide the name of the groups as surgeon and you can see that it now becomes surgeon 1 2 3 4 then i can say the first row as successful and the second row as not successful or unsuccessful and i can now input the data for first surgeon it is 180 successful 7 not successful surgeon 2 125 successful Five not successful. Surgeon three one sixty four successful. Seven not successful. Surgeon four ninety five successful. Eleven not successful. The moment I do that, I can see the expected values uh, in the lower table and the chi square value in the last table. and the totals of uh, the chi square values the total of the chi square is 
डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम एस थ्री क्रिटिकल वैल्यू ऑफ का स्क्वायर एट फाइव परसेंट आल्फा रिस्क इज सेवन पॉइंट एट वन फाइव एंड द पी वैल्यू इज पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फोर सो द कंक्लूजन इज सेम यू कैन नोट दैट द लार्जेस्ट का स्क्वायर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज फ्रॉम सर्जन फोर सो सर्जन फोर इज द इज द वन हैविंग लार्जेस्ट डिफरेंस कंपेयर टू द अदर सर्जन्स यू कैन कंक्लूड लाइक दैट of course this table at the moment is limited to uh, four columns and two rows but we may be uh, adding more tables to this template later on you can also see templates of z test and t test in the other worksheets thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching please subscribe to institute of quality and reliability channel If you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering six sigma and statistical quality control click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos